Search and rescue technicians from CFB Comox were high in the sky this past weekend, flying backwards in a brutal wind to rescue a sick passenger from the deck of a cruise ship. Now, with an aging population and with the popularity of the cruises to Alaska growing by the year, it's a task they're being called to do more and more. CTV's Gord Kerbis has the story. He joins us outside the gates of 19 Wing Comox with more. Gord. Well, Hudson, it's the type of maneuver that flight crews carry out at least half a dozen times every year, heading out over our local waters so they can hover above giant cruise ships. And that's so search and rescue technicians can lower themselves down onto the cruise ship decks and so they can help passengers suffering from medical emergencies. A Cormoran helicopter taxis at 19 Wing Comox, preparing to get airborne for a routine training mission. On board are crew members who this weekend carried off a delicate rescue off the west coast of Vancouver Island. The weather was very nice. We had good visibility, although there were 75 kilometer hour winds, which, uh, which made the hoist and the rescue challenging. The Cormorant was 30 kilometers off of Brooks Peninsula, northwest of Vancouver Island. It was meeting up with a cruise ship Oosterdam. It's actually the second time Captain Luke Coates has had to rendezvous with the same vessel for a medical emergency. So when we're conducting a hoist at that altitude, the pilots, we don't have the best references, best visibility. So it's all up to the flight engineer. He cons us to the exact spot over the ship so that the Sartex can be lowered at a precise spot. Cormoran flight crews often find themselves flying in difficult circumstances, but evacuations off vessels are even trickier. That's due to high winds. And in this weekend's case, the only way to pull off the evacuation was to fly the Cormoran backwards throughout the entire rescue. When you get close to a cruise ship, the 75 knot winds hit the cruise ship, then the, it disturbs the nice flow of the air. So what happens when you get close to it, you're flying in this turbulent air, and it feels exactly like when you hit turbulence and a west jet or in a big, big plane, so you're bouncing all over the place. With the cruise ship season in full swing, most filled with aging passengers, crews know it's only a matter of time before they'll be dispatched once again to pull another passenger from the ship's decks. Typically on cruise ship is uh, either a heart problem or uh, something that'll happen like with passengers on board. So it's most likely to be either heart problem or some kind of a health issue. Now Hudson, in the story, you heard the squadron chief talking about just how tricky that maneuver was from this weekend. The cruise ship was going forward and the Cormorant had to be flying backwards, keeping pace with it throughout the entire rescue. Now, despite the distances involved in some of the obvious dangers, crew members at 19 Wing Comox say they are ready to respond on our local waters at a moment's notice. Hudson. As they always do, Gord, thank you. Gord Kerbis reporting tonight from CFB Comox.